Guy, great to see you out in the Evo. The question we've kind of been asking everyone, have you been having fun today? Because ev everyone you see, every driver, big smiles on their faces, throwing the car sideways, having a laugh. That says it all really, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, I haven't driven a rally car for probably a year and a half, so uh, I was a little bit rusty. I felt a little bit rusty, but as um, soon as I got off the start line, it felt natural and I enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. That's why I came down here, brought the family, and um, we've had a nice day. You mentioned that year and a half break, kind of from the success, I remember the, the KA Championships and then the Puma and then the JWRC. W what can we expect from you now? Where can we see you? What are the plans? Who do you know with a lot of money? If, if I had a lot of money, I'd be doing it myself. <laughs> All right, well, if you get some money, then we'll have a race off and then whoever's better, they can yeah. go on, can't they? Okay, yeah, well, that's yeah, on, yeah. Deal, deal, yeah, deal. yeah Dickinson yeah. versus Wilkes. Yeah. yeah, no problem, no problem. I'm up for that. I'm yeah, I've got a funny feeling I know we'll win. <laughs> no, all seriousness, um, I've just sort of had time out, you know. It's um, one of those things after rallying for so long, I started a family um, and it all went, not sour, but um, after my last year with Persia, it wasn't the best, you know, for a number of reasons. And it probably came at a good time for me to just to, to get out, you know. I mean, there is life outside of rallying and that's what I'd been engrossed in for probably 13 years, solidly that my whole focus in life was around rallying. And um, I'm getting great pleasure in spending time away from rallying, but um, that's not to say that my hunger and desire to compete in the right way is lost. If somebody offered me a chance to compete in a proper car with a proper budget on good events and a good championship, I'd be there straight away. I'd be a lot thinner as well. <laughs> is, is it a case of, of going away and finding that what you loved about rallying when you first got into it? Is that potentially what got lost? Um, no, I never lost my love, but sometimes you come up against things that try you in all walks of life, but in rallying, in sport, it's very easy to take those things personally. And um, at the end of the day, is what you, you find difficult as a driver sometimes is to remember that when a car lets you down, it's the car and you can't do anything about it. And when your car isn't quite as competitive, again, it's the car. But as a driver, your natural instinct is to drive harder. And I found myself in a little bit of a a circle as such towards the end of, I was going to say my career, I haven't officially retired yet, but I um, hope I haven't anyway. But uh, yeah, I'm not lusty enough to get him back in the car, but uh, yeah, if the right opportunity was there, I would be there 110%. And I've got to ask you, you drove one of the best looking cars of all time in the Puma. Um, were you aware of the furore it was causing and the, the ruckus? People were, I remember going to rallies and people clamouring to get a look at the car. Were you aware that you were driving such a special car at the time? Um, that was maybe one of those cars that I was talking about previously that you sort of looked at sometimes and, and then other times you were, you were patting it and stroking it on the top because it was just, I had great memories of that car. I mean, it did a British championship in the Puma and the Puma that we used in World Championship, I actually developed a little bit of the, um, the colour scheme, if you like, myself. And um, the one that we ended up with, with the, um, the flares over the, the bonnet and the swoosh on the side, that's what I did for, did the original one, but we did the, added the little bits and pieces to it. But that car, Finland, that's what got me my first fully funded, paid factory drive. So for that car, I owe a lot. Um, for all the negatives about that car, and it was a little bit old by the time it actually got me that drive, it still got me that drive because we had a fantastic um, result in Finland, winning 1600 uh, Junior World Championship. Um, not the rally, but the stages we finished on the podium. It was my first podium. So yeah, it's got a special place, although I don't own one and I'm not really chasing after one. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you out as soon as, as possible because it's a shame you've got to get yourself back out on them stages. Would love to.